What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so three episodes down, and already I'm just feeling overwhelmed with this whole thing right here. They really bumped up everything, and uh, you know what? I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, I'm having a good time uh, actually exploring this whole thing right here, and uh, well, in this episode right here, we're going to be battling... Uh, well, we're going to be battling uh, Faulkner for our first badge right here in Pokemon uh, Liquid Crystal. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, I believe, or if you believe, a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against a flying type. Keep this in mind. Wow, that was a very, very humble word from a very, very humble man. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go with uh, Erwin, and we're just going to be going through everybody right here. Of course, the, those clouds are supposed to simulate clouds right there. Let me see if you're good enough against uh, to face uh, Faulkner. Okay, so here we go. First battle against Kevin, and he will be coming out with a Spearow now. I think we should be coming... I think Spearow should be around here somewhere. I don't even know. And, uh... Oh, God. Critical hit at his first turn right there. They are making me work for this one right here. Holy crap. So here we go. Water gun attack. There we go. Now, another thing that I may be doing while I'm playing this game is using the speed button. Because, holy crap, this place, like, it's it's going to take a while, guys. It really is. It's going to take a while for me to just beat everything. So, yeah. I'm actually glad that I didn't even uh, play a hack game to begin with. Because, god dang challenging you. Okay, so that is that. So let's go and use a potion, because we're going to be needing a lot of those potions. In fact... You know what? Let's go straight to the Pokemon... Uh, the Pokemart. Let's see. Going to the Pokemart. Hopefully they sell some better potions right here. And, uh, yeah, they only sell regular potions, so let's go ahead and stock up on, like, ten of them. And, uh... Yep. Let's continue on right here. Hopefully, we will we'll, we'll, we'll fare better better against these guys. Wow, can't even can't even uh, do that right there. And uh, okay, so since we do have a ground type Pokemon, let's see what Stampy could do right here. And uh, this guy right here is like the keyword is guts. Those here uh, those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. Alrighty. So let's see what this guy has to say or has to do with, and he does have he does have a Spearow. Holy crud! Oh damn. Okay. Uh, let's go with the tackle attack since it's the only move it knows. And here we go. Tackle attack. It takes a nice chunk just because it has uh, that 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 equipment thing. And look at that. It's taking out its HP like nothing. So do it a great thing right there. Here we go. Tackle attack for the win. That's right. Okay, so Bird Keeper Allen has been defeated. I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see, do it again. This guy right here. And uh, let's do it again with that guy right there. Okay, so that is that. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can flip flying, uh, or you can clip flying, po flying type uh, Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such uh, such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, let's do this. So here it is, guys. Our first gym battle in Liquid Crystal, and it's up against Faulkner, the uh, bird type trainer. Yeah, and he does have a nice team. This guy's at level 15. Holy crud, he's at level 15. Holy crud. Oh, crud. And there is that mud slap, and of course, it will lower our accuracy. Crud. Okay, so that's probably why an Odor Sleuth is good. Let's see, Odor Sleuth. Come on, let me use Odor Sleuth. Damn it! Okay. Actually, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to work right there. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Irwin. Yeah, and here's that tackle attack. Water gun, come on! God dang it! Oh god, I really, 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 really hate that mud slap attack right now. Alrighty, I'm gonna make 
Okay, I was about to say, I was gonna make a barbecue out of this chicken, but yeah, Erwin is a water type Pokemon. Okay, let's go. Come on! We might have to rotate Pokemon again! Oh, crud. Here we go. Water gun again. And there you go. Oh, God. Critical hit. And, uh, okay. So he's gonna be coming out with a Pidgeotto. Let's go straight to Stampy. Just because, you know, we lost a few accuracy points right there. And, uh, there's that Pidgeotto. Level 17. Good God. Okay. Look at that. It's using its tackle. Okay, we're gonna just weaken the crap out of this guy. And, uh, wow. Using Mudslab just to beat me right here. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. Mudslab. Uh, come on. Don't be a slut. Uh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Let's go again. And, uh, Mudslap away. And, uh, crud. More accuracy points lost. So we're just... Yeah, we're gonna hit him, uh... We're gonna go until the very end right here. Letting, letting Stampy just get beat right here. And, uh... Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it again. And, uh, this guy just, is just gonna continue with the mud slap. So this is what you're gonna have to deal with right here. And, uh, look at that. Okay, so another mud slap. Oh, Jesus. Gotta love those accuracy points, right? Um... Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna wait until the very end right here for Stampy. You did your job, buddy! Yeah. So let's go straight to Irwin and hope for the best right here. Water gun. There's that tackle. And thankfully it didn't use that mud slap and nearly beats this guy right here. Another tackle attack right there, and here we go. For the win. Pidgeotto can go suck a lemon. There we go. And Erwin nearly grows to level 18. Good God! My dad's cherished Pokemon. All right, take this. It's an official Pokemon Zephyr badge. God damn, these these guys are tough. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves our first badge, the Zephyr badge. It's nice and everything, and uh, raises the attack of the Pokemon, and it also enables you to use Flash. Here, take this too, and we get ourselves the TM31, which should be Mudslap, right? Uh, let's see, yeah, Mudslab produces it, yada yada yada. Okay, there are Pokemon gyms in the cities ahead. Don't need to be talking to you. Okay, so that is that. Uh, Jesus. Holy crud, guys. I, ne I, I never thought I could say this, but hack games are... I can see why hack games are all the rage right here. I really... I, I can see it now. So... Let's go ahead and uh, continue on right here and uh, see what is next. Because I have a feeling that we're going to get a call. Yes, we're getting a call. And he's like, hello, Draven. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you go talk to him? Okay, so we're going to go talk to that guy. And, uh, well, let's see what this guy has to say. Draven, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take this Pokemon egg? Yes, I will. Oh, wow, I love the music on that. Uh, yeah, that music's pretty good. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until the girl's uh, in the egg. It also has to be with another active Pokemon to hatch. Draven, you're the only Pokemon we can... Or you're the only person we can rely on. Please return to the lab when the egg hatches. Okay. Alrighty, so... That does it for episode four, I believe. Yeah, guys, it has been an adventure, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are entertained. I will see you guys next time for the next episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. See you.